my Young and the Restless fans, you know what time it is. We got another episode to talk about. Nick helps Sally to get her pitch over to Jill. Tucker pumps Audra for information about Omega Sphere. And then Nathan and Newman's ask Audra to pump Tucker for information about his company. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the Young and the Restless and the Bold and the Beautiful. This is your Young and the Restless Recap for February 8th. And without any further ado, let's talk about this episode. So, I know you guys remember that kiss on Friday between Nate and Victoria. Well, Victoria looked like she can't stay away from him. So much so that Victoria wants him to stick around for their plot meeting against Tucker McCall. And yeah, don't worry, Victor. Nate fit right in. By the way, he even has a spy by the name of Audra Charles. But you know what? I'm wondering to make this interesting if Tucker actually going to get the upper hand. Because the dude is always winning. We need a little bit of contrast. They took out Ashlyn Locke with that whole situation. So, yeah, why not do and bring with Tucker McCall in the mix? And Nate told Victor that Audra is going to be a valuable asset. So, Sally and Nick are back from taking the paternity test. And I'm shocked Chloe, meaning cuckoo Chloe, didn't even go with him. Now, Sally asks Nick, why is he so calm? Um, He is already raising Adam's other kid. I mean, what's one more, right? Or maybe it's the nanny, because we hardly ever see Christian. I wonder if even Sally knows that Christian is really Adam's son. But... I'm hoping, and I know you guys are hoping, that she's actually carrying Adam's babies because hopefully Nick will maybe look at that and maybe back off. So the whole paternity test conversation switches to where Nick finally told Sally that Victor trashed her to Jill. Well, Sally, you need to be prepared because you're about to have Victor Newman's grandchild. So expect him to be all up in your business probably for the next 18 plus years. Anyway, Nick says that he wanted to reach out to Jill to give Sally another chance. Sally gave him the permission to call Jill after she found out what Victor did. So Nick talked to Jill regarding Sally and told her he knows that Victor put a bug in her ear about Sally. Jill was like, uh, he did more than put a bug in my ear. He sent a dossier three inches thick on Sally detailing who she is. And I'm telling you, if it was Victor, he would have a whole library of his dirty deeds. Anyway, and then Jill too. She's not a saint either. But Jill gave them a second chance. Jill told them that she was very impressed and will give their proposal very serious consideration. Awesome. So when Audra gets over to Newman Media, Nate asks her what her loyalty to Tucker is. And she declares it is non-existent. She tried to trick him into telling her about the debt but he avoided it and she's sure he's not a man on top of the world and she made it clear that she wanted nothing to do with him. However, Nate need her to rethink all of that. Their connection might be exactly what Newman needs because certain moves are about to be made and Newman intends to acquire his debt and there's interest in how much she can read from him. Audra says, oh, that sounds like fun. And she says, Tucker never stays mad mad at her for long and finally we're over at crimson lights we see chance running to daniel and they're discussing their relationship woes now they sit down catch up daniel tells him about omega sphere he hopes that it will help him regain the trust of lucy and heather and chance says well it must feel amazing to work on something like that and he admits that he lost his passion for work i bet he did dealing with the newmans and now the abbots and he feel like he hasn't been punishing the guilty lately now they talk about the coding chance used to do in the military and he didn't care for that kind of desk work with no moral ambiguity however surprisingly he said now it sounds refreshing and when daniel mentions that he's working with phyllis chance tone change Daniel admits he's already frustrated with his mom and he tells Chance he's lucky that he doesn't have to work with his family. And if it doesn't work out with Chancellor Winters, there are other
the options. However, he feels like he can't trust them like he does Lily. Chance, though, has to get back to the station. They wish each other well, and Daniel says that they should do this again. And I'm guessing, look like the writers might make him a coder. I guess if you can turn Nate from a doctor to a CEO media mogul, and I guess you can change Chance from a cop to a coder. Okay, so there you have it, your Young and the Restless recap for Wednesday, February 8th, 2023. If you haven't checked out the Bold and the Beautiful recap also for today, it has been uploaded to the channel. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye.